as usual, they're lined up just a couple of hours ago outside Gamble Pavilion. Stores, Connecticut, home to a feature top 25 matchup tonight. In the Big East Conference, the Friars in to take on UConn, number 18 against number 20. Yesterday, especially against a team like Providence, who's just up the road, it's going to be a big one. And the opening tap control to the Huskies. It's a load to have to handle of Bryce Hopkins. Nice pass by Newton. Cutting in there, Andre Jackson with the first bucket. Newton clears for Connecticut. And he's pushing it. And pushing it good. Newton from downtown. Got to respect him. <laughs> Didn't you re read the recruiting news? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sonogo beautifully done to Caravan. Little high-low. And the big fella knew where to go. Out on the perimeter, you're Bryce Hopkins, but this is what it's all about. Please, everyone, get on board the caravan, caravan. In four minutes. Hopkins has his pocket picked by Newton, and then he'll pick up the foul. Really good, D. Way to get after it. Can't put the ball on the floor. Agreed. We've had a lot of conversations with him, you know, off record and he knows that shoulder so keep him going the other way you have size if you're more and you have help Hawkins off the inbounds he had missed seven straight shots until that bucket Klingon. and a beautiful dime dropped off by Diara Horton can't micromanage your assistant you got to let him help you you're absolutely right he's got a couple of former head coaches on that staff in terms of his wind it's in great shape. Got to give it to him. Step back, Trey. <laughs> Naheem Aline. And he did. So no go. Good. It's almost like they're daring him to shoot. Hawkins. Well, you know, lately, I think Connecticut has played through him. Providence, you got to be able to flow into that against that defense. But this is what you're talking about. The Hawk is out. Jordan Hawkins. Hawkins pulls up over Carter. Well, if you're not going to run anything for him, just yeah. let him go get it. Yeah. Get it on the rim and let the big guy go get it. Hopkins again, working against Caravan. Some help from Sonogo. It's a rejection. Jackson tries to save it, but does to Carter. Now Newton, what effort. And the skip pass to Hawkins. Hello, how do you do? UConn stole three right there. Inside, there, go. there it is. Sonogo, right where you want it. Nice duck under past Croswell. Get him to win a game like this. Give him the ball. Hynum loses his dribble. The outlet to Newton. Nine unanswered now for UConn. Not, not a lot of high bit, you know, pick, pick and rolls. It's all handoffs. Caravan. <laughs> Could quite possibly be the defensive player of the year in this conference, but also in America. Boy, he had to work for that, didn't he? So much of its talent that won the regular season title a year ago. Nice work wow. inside, a beautiful dump down. So no go. Yes, indeed. <laughs> he knows what to do with it when he gets it down low. From three. Aline. Throw things down, and now you get a chance to get all your defenders back set. High low. Beautifully done inside. Hawkins from Sonogo. Jackson on the overplay. Comes away with a pilfer. Newton waits for help. Good place to find some right there. Hawkins makes it a 10-point game. Got to talk about it if you're Providence. Not the way you want to start the half. For Ed Cooley. Quick for the Huskies. Yeah, nice job offensively. That ball movement is, is so important. This is a great play. Anytime your back is to the ball, never a good thing defensively. No lock caught there. Good high, low reverse. And no go to the guard. Hawkins and then Hawkins really knows how to get those feet together. One of my former teammates, he's a Hall of Famer. A mm. little too unselfish, perhaps, right there. Saved, though, back to Newton. Another rebound on the offensive end by Sonogo. 
How about that? And sometimes give him some room to work. Uh-oh. Jackson with numbers. Shut up. Uh -oh. You saw that one coming <laughs> from 94 feet. <laughs> That's it. You reach, you go for a steal, and don't get it against UConn, you pay. Bynum right back at you. Sonogo with a rejection. Action, Jackson! And the tip in by Sonogo. Man, you attack the freshman, you take advantage of maybe that lack of foot speed, but here, anytime you see Jackson open court, whether with or without the ball, you know something good is going to happen for UConn. Biggs back there. Up to 10 free throws now in the second. <laughs> after zero, cumulatively in the first. Hawkins! He's yeah. feeling it tonight. Toughness. We're trying to see how tough this team is. And they've, they've shown it in this game, UConn. Aline rattles one home. Keeping those guys out of that area. Here's Jackson going to the left hand. It's always there for the taking. Yeah. They need a bucket badly. And another poor decision to try to bounce pass it in there. Newton, bingo! That's one where you're going to slam it on the alley-oop. Really nice minutes for Klingon. You see him breathing really, really heavy. But you love to see that from your big. Running the floor so well, keeping his eye on the guard. Knowing the angle, being ready to elevate and go finish. And right now, Jordan Hawkins is down on the court, being helped up by his teammates. Yeah, you got to keep him healthy. The coaches this time of year about UConn, and they say they are one of the most dangerous. Oh. And there's the foul by Caravan. Second half. There's the dunk down to Sonogo. Adamo is in rhythm. He is in rhythm now. This is what I think the home crowd was waiting for from him tonight. We're not going to win too much on the road with Bryce Hopkins not scoring in 25 minutes. Yeah. And a field goal. Caravan, beautifully done, and he looked right at Bryce Hopkins. Marquette's got Tyler Cole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got a lot of great players. Yeah, they do. Omax Prosper. Beautifully done inside, and Sonogo now becoming... To borrow a phrase from my old friend Clark Kellogg, he's becoming the stat sheet stuffer on the offensive and defensive boards. Hawkins is stripped. Floyd almost had it. Caravan an easy one. It's quickly turning into a Connecticut coronation. What makes it sting more is the vicinity and how close these schools are to one another and through the original Big East teams go so far back. Caravan. Nylon. Jackson working on Pierre. Paul Katera. So Joey, California. The transfer from San Diego. I thought the second half, the message was sent. UConn is better than their record shows. Yeah. And they are... They are a force to be reckoned with. They are indeed. Man. A lot of respect there. Providence hasn't lost a game by double digits since way back November 30th against Jamie Dixon's Horn Frogs of TCU. 87 to 69, our final score.